where we had a, a deer once, a fawn, that we got, found on the side of the, side of the road, and uh, we kind of nursed it back to health and tamed it up a bit. We have two cats, Ginger and Dufty. I had a hamster, and it was her name was Willow, and I hated her so much that I paid my sister to keep her for me. Well, hate's maybe too strong of a word. I was lazy, and I didn't want to clean up the cage. My grandparents have a pet dog, because it's kind of nice, and there a lot, and he's nice. He's getting old though, so now he just sleeps and is cuddly instead of playful. So yay, okay, more cuddles. The only pet I have ever had was a fish, a beta fish named Perry, and he died like three weeks after we got him. Well, I've, I've, I've had three dogs, uh, all, all German Shepherds through my life, all very different personalities, which is interesting. I have a dog named Andy, and she really likes sitting on a chair. <laughs> It just calms her. I have a cat and a dog right now. The dog is Maya. She's a Siberian Husky, uh, really hyper, and uh, drags us everywhere when we take her for a walk, so we don't walk her as much. And we have Gandalf, who's a very introverted cat and eats people. <laughs> I have a cat. Um, his name is Trompi, so it's an Afrikaans name. Um, and yeah, he is basically like the neighborhood cat. All the neighbors know him, so he goes to all the different houses and he gets the treats from all our neighbors and then he makes his rounds and he comes back to our house, so yeah. One time when I was in 4-H, I had this deer and when I scratch it on his shoulder area, it would like kind of stretch out and like, I don't even know what it was doing, but it was kind of funny. I have a little kitten that I just got and she has funny looking eyes very close together. I have two pets. I have a dog named Snoopy and a bearded dragon named Goku. And they both don't get along. And even though Snoopy's like a huge dog compared to him, he's terrified of him. <laughs> I've always been allergic to most f fuzzy furry animals. So I just had fish and I honestly don't remember anything about them. So no names. <laughs> I currently have three small cats that are like six weeks at our house and we have like, a, instead of a cat tree, we have just like boxes stacked on top of each other so they can like play in the boxes instead. Okay, I just got a cat named Lucy. Um, she's like a month and a half maybe. And something about her, she's crazy. She runs around, she's ruined my curtains already. Peed on me already, but I love her. Oh, snack food. Salt and vinegar chips, I would say. That's my that's my go-to, I'd say. Fruit gummies. Like little like packages that are like, yeah, from Costco. Bread and ketchup. I like fruit. It would probably have to be Doritos. Nacho cheese. My go-to snack food is Twizzlers, but the catch is they have to be like a little stale. Like the bag's been open, they get a little hard. Both. Both. I like salt and vinegar chips. Pepperoni? <laughs> Jerky, maybe? <laughs> chips or pretzels? Chocolate almonds? Usually, like, if I'm feeling good, I'll go for sushi. But if I'm, like, a little worried I might get a parasite or something, I might just, like, stick to hickory sticks instead. Or barbecue chips. That's kind of the play. <laughs> Plums, if they're good. Oh, that's it. That's all I eat. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> like, just plain cornflakes? No sugar or anything? Plain cornflakes are pretty, they hit. I love fruit, so like strawberries or blueberries. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Like anywhere in the world? I think I might just go to the river if it's hot day. Oh man, I would want to be in New Zealand and I'd probably go bungee jumping. I would like to go skydiving. I've always wanted to, and I think that'd be pretty cool. Free soloing and climbing in the mountains, so I'd um, love to do that, yeah. Probably stay at home. I would try and grow more on a spiritual level. It wouldn't be tomorrow, but maybe go to like Houston and then watch our favorite football team on the weekend, Houston Texans, or Go to Guatemala and see my dad's side of the family who I haven't seen in like 10 years. What could I do tomorrow? Um, honestly, recently I've really wanted to go to an aquarium. 
I, I just really want to go to an aquarium. I haven't been to one. So, yeah. Quadding in the mountains. Sounds like fun. Winter Blast. Um, it's a bunch of pyrotechnicians. Uh, they all get together and they have competitions to see who can build the best firework, who can set, who can choreograph the best show, and then they blow up just some gigantic fireworks. I don't know. I'd probably just hang out with my friends. I'd like to go biking in the mountains. I could go anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. That's that's a tricky one. I don't know. I would probably go to Italy, and take a nap, drive a really fast car, race somebody. I think that's my that's my thing. Okay, yeah, for sure. I'm hoping to get some foundation for my life and make some friends. So I'm really uh, hoping to grow as a person, obviously, and uh, just grow in a good uh, Christian community and obviously uh, grow my faith. I'm hoping to get more confidence out of this year of Mount Carmel. I'm generally a very quiet, shy guy, and I'd like to change that. So what I would want out of Mount Carmel is like kind of a relaxing year and a nice year to grow my faith. Next year I'll probably be going to some kind of post-secondary that's not Christian, so it'll be nice to strengthen my face, so I'm more grounded in it, and then less challenges, I guess, within the next years. I think I'm just trying to get like a deeper understanding of the Bible and like to actually like know it, because I've like been to church, but I don't really, I haven't taken the time to maybe like go through it myself, and so I think that'll be really good to get from Carmel. And then like a good community of people. First and foremost, I want to have a deeper connection with God and I hope to achieve that through the Bible, reading the Old Testament with Mike. I'd like to get perspective on, on my education personally and where I think I need to be going and I'd like to get some direction in that regard and I'd really love to do it um, in a Christian environment. Growth, I think. Uh trying to learn more about Christ and his want for me. So that's what I kind of want from Mount Carmel is to see what Christ wants for me in my life. Yeah, what I want out of this year at Mount Carmel is just to connect with other Christians um, my age and to develop friendships that will help me like strengthen my faith and will continually like challenge me to grow deeper with God. And I just want to learn how to be a better, better like disciple and um, a servant of the Lord and be able to apply that in like every aspect of my life like career wise or um, you know even just any kind of situation that I'll be in in the future so yeah. I think my main focus for Mount Carmel would be to gain a really strong community but also learn more about God as I grow up and learn about him more in my life and I think this is a very important thing for me. I guess kind of just time to figure out who I am. So just trying to see what my future is going to hold, seeing what God's plans are for me, and making friends. Lots of friends. Yeah. <laughs> I think what I want to gain is just a really deep sense of like knowledge and really like learn to build up my faith and make it my own. And then also just connect deeply with God and everybody else and see all sorts of different perspectives and just learn all sorts of new things and take that into my everyday life. Well, just to solidify basically everything I know about the Christian faith and make sure it all fits together properly and just learn all there is to know about that. This year at Mount Carmel, I'd like to uh, really just get a, a firm foundation on the uh, just like the faith to be able to like share with others and with my knowledge, further understanding the Bible and everything like that. So. What I'm hoping to gain or learn from Mount Carmel, I guess, is kind of strengthen my relationship with God and then hopefully meet people that could be friends and stuff. Because you said you like fruit, right? <laughs> so, yeah. You like, you like grapes? I like grapes. <laughs>